Good day, my lord. Desade. I'm the emissary of the... And cousin to the governor. One of my noughts accompanies you from time to time, doesn't he? I doubt that you've come here to discuss affectations. I've explored many ruins on this island, ruins that after careful scrutiny were built by the congregation. In one of them, we found a journal that made reference to your guild. This document, as are the buildings, date much further back than the arrival of the Bridge Alliance a decade ago. These discoveries raise a good many questions, questions that my cousin would like you to answer. I understand. All the same, we are in a difficult situation. We are bound by the pact. I could eventually overlook these engagements if you would perform a service. Commander Fernando, who holds the port of San Mateus, has problems with certain members of Teleme. The bishop that accompanies you on occasion could without a doubt tell you more. I won't hesitate to speak to him about it. Solve these problems, and I will reconsider the validity of the pact. I will answer your questions. Anything else? I need to be going. Until we meet again, Admiral. Hello, sir. You are from the congregation, are you not? Indeed. Decide. Pleasure. You may call me Fernando. Your admiral informed me that you've been having problems with a few citizens of Teleme. Problems, huh? We're up to our necks and sinking with problems. Yeah, one of those high and mighty long robes dared walk upon my docks with talk of burning me at the stake. But then two of my men up and disappeared, and I, I wanted to ask for help from the Mother Cardinal, but she did not answer my requests for an audience. The games of politics are not my forte. An invest- More questions? Thanks. I've got everything I need. The Norts like to be secretive, just like us. Guilds always are. But that does not make them heretics or poisonous. Good day. I'm looking for several saints. Sorry, that doesn't ring any bell. You should ask the mage in quick. They must have certainly seen something. Especially eyeing all. Ah, and what do these mage inquisitors? They wear a very pic. We cannot question all the inquisitors roaming around the island. Good day. I'm looking for two men, 
Do you know anything about them? Why? As a matter of fact, I do. Three or four days ago, he was telling these stories. He went outside for a moment to... And, well, he never came back. He wasn't that drunk to have passed out, if it were that. No. Something happened to him. That's a fact. If one of the sailors disappeared as he came out of the tavern, that is where we should go. If we find Inquisitors there, they'll certainly know more than the ones we see here. We're approaching the tavern. If we're discreet, we should be able to eavesdrop on a conversation. You again. Why am I not surprised to see you implicated in this story of surveillance? I have no idea what you're talking about. A witness told me that you and others of your order seem to be spying on all comings and goings in the port. Two noughts were captured not long ago. You had to have seen something. You are mistaken, my son. You've been misinformed. I advise you to seriously change tone and tell us all that you know. You wouldn't want to suffer a humiliating defeat now, would you? I, I... I do not appreciate this attempt at intimidation. But very well. Since you insist. These noughts were arrested. We were forced to interrogate them to bring to light their pagan rituals. It wasn't a sanctioned arrest, was it? No. The Mother Cardinal is not aware. Not yet. But, as soon as we have succeeded in making them talk and they have confessed their heresy, she... Of course. Where did you take them? The coin guard has... lent us their jails and some men. We do not normally like to call upon the services of these brutes, but... we have need of their skills and discretion. These Inquisitors really don't realize the consequences of their actions. We will have to proceed with caution. Feast for the eyes, ladies and gentlemen, and it's free. Come and see me as soon as you have made your choice. You won't be disappointed. Of that I can assure you. Come on. Halt! You have no authority to go any further. Do not forget that there is only one song that can make us change our minds, Greenblood. Played with golden notes. 
You said it. Or songs of steel. They also open doors. And if I gave you this, so that you might go and have a little fun? In that case, I could certainly look the other way for a while, but be discreet. out of there those inquisitors are completely mad they tortured us they wanted us to admit to all manner of horrors stories of some demonic cult and curses of malachor i was of the firm belief that they were going to kill us but you must make haste they are planning some sort of wickedness they spoke of a great purification and after that they did this to us it doesn't bode well, not at all. I heard them talking about their headquarters near the palace. Thank you again for freeing us. We need to discover what is behind this talk of purification, before they can execute their plan. We should go see this Demetrius after all. What he will tell us may help us understand.
are, my child. I'm happy that you are here. I've had an idea. Please do. I've known the Mother Cardinal. I fear that you're... What do you have in mind? Diplomacy is not only if we had the means... How could we ever find anything of that? Everyone has nasty little secrets. Very well. Let's go and discover what the governor would... Excellent. How would you like to go about this? We must search her apart. They'll be guarded, of course. This is taking quite... The congregation's reputation could suffer if we're... I know. But... And if we want to be sure to pass without being... That would improve our chances. What can I do for you, my child? I had a meeting with Admiral Cabral concerning what we found in those ruins. She said she was bound by a pact that kept her from answering questions. The noughts are nothing more than mercenaries of... Effectively. She told me that... And she advised me to speak to you. I believe I see what the Admiral is speaking about. A few of our zealous brothers are overcome by their faith. They look with a wary eye at all those who do not swear faith to Teleme. It is possible they have decided to target the Norts. We will need to speak with those on Teleme land. What was your role at my uncle's court? No. But I... Teleme was hoping to convert the congregation, and they had said... I tried to teach you some of the basics because you had... But you were so young. You preferred to run around the halls with a wooden sword in hand, chasing your cousin. What was your role at my uncle's court? Were you already an ambassador? No. Teleme was hoping to convert the congregation, and they had said... I tried to teach you some of the basics, because you, but you were so young. I'll see you later, father. Take care, my child. Ah, Your Excellency. The Enlightened must have sent you. I would like to ask a favor of you. I'm listening. As you may be aware, we suspected this island might be the one St. Lucius wrote about. Did you? We did, but let me explain. This island was where St. Matthias lived at the end of his life, and where he founded a perfect community. Some time ago, we created a village which we called Eden, following his example. We chose this place as it seemed to be the closest to the one described in the Holy Scriptures. It is a home to a community of converted islanders, accompanied and guided in their budding faith by our theologians. As you can imagine, it is of the utmost importance to us, all the more so because we discovered some tablets there which were engraved by our founder. An extraordinary discovery that confirms your suspicions. I see you understand. Alas, these tablets were stolen probably by the islanders who still reject our influence. 
I know that you are generally well accepted by the natives. That is why I was hoping that you could help us to retrieve what belongs to us. I suppose I could go to Eden and try and retrieve them. Marvelous. The leader of the community, Father Eustinius, will be able to answer your questions. May the Enlightened assist you in this holy quest, Your Excellency. What do you want from me, my son? Sir de Sarde, emissary of the congregation. Ah, I am Bishop Domitius. I believe you have a few problems with the Norts who reside- We have problems with all matter of heretics, my son. They are very secretive and have all sorts of strange rituals that they keep to themselves under cloak of mystery. The sorcery they employ to guide their ships is drawn from nature, just like the sorcery used by the natives. And to top it all off, and this is where it stings. We suspect them to be at the origin of the Malachor. Whatever do you mean? How? Have you ever once crossed paths with a Nort suffering from the Blood Plague? The only logical reason is that they are at its origin. I am certain that we will find clues of their rituals and their pagan idols in their stockhouses in the port. Uh... Very well. Let's just agree that these rumors need to be verified. Anything else? Good day, Desade. How can I help? I met the representative of the Ordo Luminous. That hardly surprises me. And that bishop is not made of milk and kindness. He suspects you to be somehow responsible for the Malachor because you never fall prey to it. Responsible for the Malachor? <laughs> Through your magic. Some sort of ritual. I have nothing more to say about it. More questions? Thanks. I've got everything I... The commander will probably not tell us anything more about the Nort's secrets. But the documents at the Harbour Master's office may teach us something new. If we can stay discreet.
This note speaks of a secret hangar. We should investigate, even though it's sure to be well guarded. That way we'll know exactly what the Noughts are hiding from us. These buildings are the property of Norts. No one is authorized to enter. Move aside. Guards, to me! Maybe a mighty will uh, take me in this battle. May the shot engulf our enemies. I've already seen this type of engine in my uncle's court. It's used to spy upon the stars. Mm. Nothing magic nor impure therein. They're nothing but measuring instruments. But these machines are extremely complex. I've never seen anything like this. Oh. This one looks like it has a shouting dolphin etched into its side. And that? It looks like a thermometer. And this other machine, does it really predict the weather?
These instruments are incredible and I would be hard pressed to use them. But I certainly see nothing magic in here. For as long as they work and are really used, these and I have definitely found nothing related to the Malachor, nor a seat. <gasps> this Domitius has let his... Now our priority is to discover what this great purification is. We must meet with the Mother Cardinal urgently. Only she can put an end to this madness. Yes? 
I would like to have an audience with the Mother Cardinal to discuss the discoveries made during our investigation. What is this about, Domitius? Well, I don't rightly know. You see, Eminence, Bishop Domitius has brought to my ears his order's accusations concerning the Norks. According to him, they practice a religion close to those of the natives and use a nature-drawn magic. They would also be implicated, therefore, in the appearance of the Malachor. That is an extremely serious accusation. Effectively, considering the accusation is founded on no proof other than the Nort's tradition of secrecy. But these suspicions have pushed the Order to extreme actions, risking the fragile peace of the island. The Ordo Luminous captured several Noughts, locked them in jails rented to them by the Coin Guard. They were tortured with the singular goal of forcing them to admit heresy. They obtained nothing. If I had not intervened, these men would be dead. Is this true, Domitius? Some of our brothers undoubtedly misinterpreted the evil. I would have never allowed such a plan. These noughts are now united with their captain, and I am certain they would be most eager to bear testimony. Following up on the accusations of Bishop Domitius, I wanted to verify for myself what this was all about. I went to take a look at their storerooms and saw what they contained. There were neither idols nor objects of any ritual nor even anything magical, and absolutely nothing that could be attributed to the origin of the Malachor. I found nothing but measuring instruments and diverse navigational machines. I caught wind of a ridiculous scheme planned for the port by the Ordo Luminous, and I wanted to clear it up. I was able to get my hand on documents that effectively detailed an attack, a great purification. They were signed by you, Father, and included a contract where you enlisted the assistance of the Coin Guard to attack every Nort building and make prisoner of every one of their men that could be taken alive. Domitius, how could you? Whatever did you want to accomplish? Have you gone completely mad, Domitius? I want them arrested. Him and every member of his order. I thank you for bringing this business to my attention. Going after the Norts. What madness. Without you, this city would now be drowning in chaos. Carry my best wishes to your cousin. His desire to maintain the peace on the island honors his house's reputation. I will tell him, Your Eminence, until we meet again. Desarde, what can I do for you? I've settled the problem in San Mateus. The misguided brothers planned to attack the port. I... The Order thought you to be heretics because of your tradition of secrecy. The secrets. They often cut both ways. We discovered this island nearly two centuries ago. A few decades later, we sold the discovery to your nation of merchants. We transported some lords. The lords revealed themselves to possess a tyrannical nature and began to exploit the lands with a deadly passion. Their actions 
provoked a revolt of the natives, but also the very workers and craftsmen they had brought with them. The magic of the natives of Tirfredi was awoken. Beasts came out of the woods and destroyed the new cities. Only a handful of lords and armed men were able to make it back to our ships. The losses were enormous. The humiliation, devastating. They continued to make the occasional expedition. What are you saying? You must have had your doubts. The child of an island, though. I understand how difficult this is to hear. And I wouldn't know why your family has kept this from you all this time. In the end, we decided to sell the secret location of the island to other nations. The congregation, in spite of its fears, could not keep away. And here you are again. I am sorry for the shock I have caused you. Anything else? I need to be going. Until we meet... I can't believe it. That for all this time, I've been fed lies. The constant in no. I must... I must go and see him. I understand you may be sad because you were lied to. But do not be sad about who you are. We are a proud are people. Your boots? And I am glad to know that you are one of us. Come closer, good people. The cure and <laughs> you couldn't pick a better time. I've been taken with jitters like a cat on a midday roof. <laughs> what are you waiting for with such anticipation? I took your advice, you see. I've summoned one of these crows! He has been examining me for nearly an hour. I just barely escaped a purge. But I was given the mandatory bleeding. I so hate their little knives. And so then, our venerable doctor, what is the verdict? Blood is black. <sighs> Constantine, is this your blood? Constantine, answer me. Constantine, stay with me. Constantine, there is a chance that he is in error. It might be something else. I'm going to die. No, no, Constantine. I will die, like your mother and the others on the continent. I I'm dying! I don't want to die. I don't. Not, not, not so soon. It's so good. Cousin, I... I don't Constantine, want... I'm here. Pull yourself together. Out! Everyone out! It's an order! Thank you, cousin. There now. Are you better? I don't know. You won't leave me, will you? I'm going to find a cure, I promise you. Didn't you promise the same thing to your mother? You know I'll be dead before you find one. Don't say that. I will succeed. I've already some promising trails to explore. I don't know, cousin. The tidings are so awfully dire. I'm afraid. I'm so afraid. I doubt the reason for your visit was to console me in my tragedy. Tell me, what brings you here? It can wait. It's nothing that can't be dealt with later. But please, please, whatever it is, it will take my mind elsewhere. I was able to get the whole story out of the Admiral in exchange for a service. As our investigation was leading us to imagine, the congregation did once attempt to colonize the island. The Norts discovered it some two centuries ago and brought our people here a few decades later. But the enterprise to colonize the island failed completely. There were a great many bloody battles. Few colonists survived. The princes preferred to hide their defeat and paid the Norts to keep the secret. That they hid the fiasco from the world, I get. But that my father said nothing about it to me. That's not the most shocking part of the story, believe me. What do you mean? 
The congregation continued to make expeditions to the island with the help of the Noughts. According to the Admiral, my mother came from the island and was brought back. I was born on one of their ships. What? But... That means you are not your dear cousin? No. All the lies we've been fed since our tender childhood. The fable told that I'm the spitting image of my dead father lost during an expedition. God, I, I don't know what to think, Constantine. Why did they do that to me? I don't know. It's another one of their sly and dark orchestrations. Some vile intrigue. If it is of some comfort, no matter the true story, you will always be my dear cousin. You have always been the only one to care for me. You are my only friend. That's all that matters to me. Keep this discovery between us. No one needs to know. My aunt adopted you after all. Bring in the others. Let us speak of different concerns. That's enough bad news for one day. Kurt, what is it?